everybody, my name is Jakar, and today we're looking at something really special. Please feel free to correct me because there is a language barrier, but I believe this lipstick is called the Queen's Scepter 3-in-1 Lipstick by AG and AG. So before we get into this review, please ignore my busted ass nails. I have natural nails and for some reason both of my thumbnails decide to just give up on me and crack on the sides. I also haven't had time to repaint them, so please excuse them. I know they look bad. Disclaimer aside, let's look at this beautiful packaging, and it is a hollow sexual's dream. Unless this is iridescent, but I think this is hollow. Now that we've seen the beautiful design on the front of the box, on the back of the box, it's kind of a different story because I honestly can't read any of this. But later on in the video, we are going to try to use Google Translate Live Filter, I think is what they call it, to see if we can find out any information about this. So here's a little story time. I actually saw this product on TikTok. Of course, I will link the original video where I saw this at in the description, but I recall when I first saw this, I was absolutely amazed by how beautiful the box was and of course look how amazing it is on the inside. So when you open it up you see the label cow's blood, koi, and of course rotten tomato as the main three colors of the lipstick. So just by looking at the box you can tell that there is a lot of effort and design put into it. And this wasn't really cheap because I did get it on Amazon and at the time when I first saw it it was $13 and it did drop to 11. I do feel bad because this was a gifted item and even though the packaging is great, the lipstick tube itself is not heavy and it is plastic. The only other negative thing I have to say about it is the little gems and rhinestones and I'm thinking there's flat pearl accents were not put on correctly or all the way because some of them were backwards and I did have to pick them off and re-glue them because I am that type of person. Besides any of those negatives, there's a lot of positives towards this item and honestly, as a collector of anything unique or different, especially when it has to come to makeup, this is definitely a 10 out of 10 item. See how I'm pulling on that? Don't do it that way. Try to pull it out correctly so you don't damage the chain or the box. Now this is one hell of a lipstick product because it's not only huge, but it's also very shiny and that end is kind of pointy so please be wary of that you don't want to be stabbing anybody with that now during this part of the video I did turn down the lights so that I could get the full effect of all the sparkles and glam because without all the lights on there you can really see all the little pearl and diamond accents that they put on the middle part of the tube I know this isn't showing up on video but I wish it was but you can see even with the lights low it is actually reflecting the light off of my phone and it's leaving this like, I guess, disco ball effect. And it's really, really pretty and it's amazing to look at. Additional information just about the lipstick and the product itself is that it is claimed to be waterproof, which I've only heard about in mascara, never in lipstick. So it also claims that it's a velvet matte finish with a long-lasting wear finish as well. Hopefully nobody's disappointed, but I don't plan on testing any of that out. I want to keep my lipstick intact, so I'm really sorry about that. But you can follow the 3-in-1 tag on TikTok to see people test this stuff out, and you get some really good results, so it's worth looking at. I will put down some videos below if you don't have TikTok, so don't worry, I have you covered. I did turn back up the light because it was actually kind of hard to see the lipstick shade in real life. Sometimes it does come off as a really dark black color and in this light it's coming off as a more of a dark ox blood color which is really interesting. As you can also see there's notches in the lipstick and that's where all the different colors come from. So at this part of the packaging we've looked up before but these are the three colors and I'm trying to like show you the difference because it's actually quite staggering. Now it's interesting in it that this one dark color makes all those three colors but I guess that's the magic behind the lipstick. 
And interesting enough, each side has its own color. So I've always thought that was kind of interesting, even though two out of the three names are kind of gross. So overall, my experience with this product is positive because I do really think it's pretty. But my drawbacks, of course, it was made cheaply. The rhinestones weren't on perfectly. And I did have problems trying to get the chain on at first. So altogether, this item was originally $13, and without Prime, you would have been paying nearly $20 for this. Let's do a mini deep dive and find out a little bit more information about this product, and maybe we can find a cheaper alternative, because yikes. <laughs> so I just did Google real quick, and I typed in AG and AG lipstick, and this is what I found so far. I'm seeing some listings for AliExpress, uh, Shop Philippines, the original Amazon listing, Singapore, uh, with very different um, price ranges, which is interesting because this was nearly $20 without Prime. Sadly, I don't know the original listing or the original price before TikTok, but I did find that Wish, AliExpress, and Amazon have very different prices. And that's kind of staggering and shitty. Though to be completely fair, I wouldn't shop on AliExpress or Wish because of personal experiences that I've had with both sites. I've come to the conclusion a very long time ago that if it's on AliExpress or Wish, it's going to be on Amazon or eBay, but the prices may vary. So what I've gathered about AG and AG as a brand is actually very little besides that it's a makeup company based in China and it's sold throughout the world, including Asia. So what I've gathered is that AG and G is based in China. So the writing on the box is probably Chinese which makes it a lot easier for me to figure out what to put in the Google Translate. Sadly, this is the only way I can actually film and record what's on the translator. So I'm really sorry about the angle and like the blocks on the side, but this is the only way I was actually able to translate it and get a correct reading. So staying on brand, of course, Google's kind of giving me wishy-washy translations and it's kind of flickering back and forth between different words and phrases. So this wasn't as really as helpful as I hoped. So I also did look on YouTube to see if anybody else has reviewed this product beyond TikTok and they haven't because there is a language barrier and it would be really hard to review a product if you can't give any information on it besides the way it looks. Unfortunately, the Google Translate is not working out too well and it's not really giving me any in-depth information that I was kind of expecting to be able to share what is in this makeup product. And this goes for the listing as well. I don't recall seeing any product listing information at all which can be kind of troubling for someone who may have skin allergies or skin issues. But if you're like me and you just want to collect makeup that is in beautiful packaging, of course this is going to be for you because you're not going to want to wear it. But for somebody that is going to want to wear this, especially daily, please make sure you try to find out what is in the ingredients. So overall with this product, I think it's a great product and it would be really cool to see products like this, especially this brand in America being sold because I do believe the one thing that America lacks in their makeup products is creativity and not just in the box but in the product as well. You can't deny this isn't a beautiful product. It has all kinds of little details that we just don't see in North American cosmetics. So my final take on this whole review is that if you plan on wearing this product, make sure you know what you're putting on your face. And if you're a collector like me, try to get it cheaper because yes, it is beautiful and the packaging is very beautiful, but it's not worth the nearly $20 price without Amazon Prime. And it's definitely not worth $11 or $13. Of course, I found some more online that I would love to review for you guys, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll do some more in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.